Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we made this little vanity and chair for our LPS cardboard house. It also has a working drawer. If you would like to see how we made it, then just keep watching. Enjoy! To make this craft, you're going to need foam, some sort of reflective material. This is the bottom of an orange juice container, a bottle cap, glue. You can either use regular school glue or a glue gun. And a needle or something to poke some holes in your foam with. And that's it, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark how high I want my vanity to be. I want the actual table to come up to about the bottom of my LPS's face. I'm going to cut out one of those. I then cut out four pieces for the sides of my vanity. Put them together. Then I'm just going to glue them onto my piece of foam. Next, I'm going to make the top of my vanity, and to do that, I'm going to glue one side onto a piece of foam. Cut around the foam so that I had a little bit of an edge around the vanity. I then cut out a piece of foam that would fit just perfectly in the inside and I'm just going to glue that on. In the working drawer for the vanity, I cut out four pieces of foam that were a bit smaller than my shelf here and a bit shorter as well. I then took one of the pieces of foam and I put it inside of the shelf, marked off where I wanted the depth of the shelf to be, and then cut out two of those. Next, I'm going to glue all the pieces together, starting with the bottom piece. Before putting on the sides, I'm just going to double check that it fits inside of my shelf. Just glue the sides on. Putting up the front of my drawer and to cover my glue. I'm just going to glue my drawer onto a piece of foam. I'll just add a bead for a little handle. In the mirror, I'm just going to draw an oval shape. It out. Take your mirror, lay it down on a piece of foam. Put your vanity underneath it, and then just draw around that shape. A bit of excess here, which will cover the edges of your mirror. When I get to here, I'm just going to make the line go out a little bit. And then down. And then just straight down. Cut out two of these. For my second piece of foam, I cut it in a contrasting color. I then want to mark out a circle in the center of my top piece of foam that is going to be smaller than my mirror. And cut that out. Then I'm going to cut around this border. And then this piece I'm going to save for the back of my little chair. Then glue your mirror onto the back foam piece and glue the top foam piece on. The next thing I did was I just actually trimmed the back of that um, vanity off just so that it would glue a little bit easier to the top half. To add a bottom to my vanity, I'm just going to glue the bottom of this onto a piece of foam. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to add a strip of the darker pink foam here. The vanity is all done. Now it's time to work on the chair. Add some glue to the top of the bottle cap to a piece of foam, cut around the foam, take your cutout from earlier and glue that onto your bottle cap. And then to just add a quilted effect, I'm going to use my needle. There it is guys, the finished vanity and chair for our LPS girls room. I added a few little details including a little makeup palette a brush and some makeup brushes. And it has a little working drawer to open and close. So 
today using some recycled materials we made this little breakfast for our LPS. If you would like to see how we made them, then just keep watching. To do this craft you're going to need... So for this project today I'm going to be using one of these recycled containers from McDonald's pancakes and we have a couple of these around the house so I'm going to do three different breakfast items for our LPS using this. So the first thing that I did was cut a piece of that foam from the pancake container into a small square that's going to be my waffle and I've just started with a sharp pencil making some squares really pressing into the foam so that you get a nice indentation of those squares. Just keep doing that until you've covered the whole thing with those squares. Once you're finished covering your whole surface with the little squares, go ahead and glue this piece onto another piece so that we have a bit thicker waffle. Now I'm gonna just cut the edges slightly so that it has more of a curved edge rather than a very sharp edge. And this is how our waffle should look so far. Next, I mix together some orange, brown, and yellow paint, and I'm just gonna cover this surface with it, trying to do it thin as I can so we don't fill in those holes that we made. And then if I need to do another layer so that we can't see that pencil, then I can do that. But I just want to make sure that I don't fill in the holes too much so that we still have them there. Just keep doing that until it's completely covered. Once you've completely painted your waffle, it should look like this and now we can make some toppings for it. I cut out a tiny piece of the foam to be a tab of butter and I'll just glue that right into the center. Next I'm going to add a little bit of brown paint just to give it more of a toasted effect. So just got some brown paint and I'm just going to go along it very lightly. And just keep doing that till it has the nice toasted effect that you'd like. I'm going to paint my little pad of butter with some yellow paint, making sure to cover the sides as well. To make some strawberries, I'm just going to draw the shape of the strawberry and then just add a tiny bit at the top for the leaf. It should look like this once you've cut it out and then I'm going to go ahead and paint it. After I've added my strawberries that I made, now I'm going to use a little bit of Mod Podge just to give it um, a shiny effect so it looks like there's some syrup on it. Bacon, I'm again using one of the pieces of foam from the uh, McDonald's pancake container and I'm just going to start with a line like that and then get, make kind of an S shape and then just follow that down and then just make a line down the center and then I'm going to make several just like that and cut them out. Once I've cut them out I'm just going to kind of squish them like this and bend them so that they look a little bit more like a slice of bacon and then I'm going to paint them. To paint it I'm just going to run a little bit of red paint along one side and then I'm going to add some red paint going down the center and then along the other side. Once the paint is dry I'm just going to cover it with Mod Podge. To make the egg I'm just going to draw kind of a rough egg shape on the foam and then I'm going to make a circle that's going to be the yolk and I'll cut them both out. Cut my pieces out, I'm going to glue them together. So just add a little bit of glue right to the center of the egg white and then glue the yolk on. I'm going to just color the egg yolk with some yellow paint. I'm just going to add a little bit of brown paint just to the edges so it looks fried. Then I'm going to cover everything with a layer of Mod Podge just to give it a nice sheen. And there we go, there is our finished LPS breakfast made from recycled packaging from a pancake container from McDonald's. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you have a lot of fun making your own accessories for your LPS. 
Please remember to come back very soon for another LPS DIY. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Like to see how we made it? Then just keep watching. Enjoy! To do this craft, you're going to need Lay your cardboard down that you're going to use. Then lay down however many LPS you want to be on the bus. I'm going to have two rows of three. So I'm just going to mark around them. Then I'm also going to have a bus driver, so make sure to leave room for him. Also, we want to make sure that the bus is long enough to have the front part. Then cut this out. After we have our bottom piece cut, now we're going to glue together two pieces of foam. And we want them to be as long as the back part of our bus. We don't need to worry about this hood section. I want my school bus to just be slightly taller than my LPS so I can actually cut my piece of foam in half so that I have my piece for each side. Now I'm gonna draw my windows on, just laying my LPS down so I know where I want my window to start. I'll just mark that all the way down. And then I can evenly space my windows as I go along. Making sure to leave a part here for the window frame. Next, I'm going to cut my windows out, starting from the middle, making kind of an X. And that makes it easier to cut that square out. Once we have the windows cut out on one side, we're just going to lay it on top of our other side of the bus. Mark the last three windows. And then for this spot here, we're just going to mark going down lift it up and this will be our door. And then we can cut these out. This is how your sides should look when they're done. Now mine are actually kind of floppy. If you want to line the inside of this with maybe a piece of thin cardboard from a cereal box, you could do that. Cut several pieces of cardboard that are the same width as the front part of your bus. Glue them together. I've also cut out a piece of cardboard that is as wide as the bottom of the bus and then I want it to be tall enough that if I line up the side of my bus that it can bend down over the top like that. It's going to mark the spot that folds over there and then I'm going to mark out a window for the front and then just cut that out. I also cut out a piece that was the same size as the front window for the back. Now I'm going to cover the front part of the bus and also the front window. I'm going to use this very thin foam that you can get at the Dollar Tree. When you cover your window, you're going to want to make an X in the middle here, like I did with the windows on the side of the bus. But instead of completely cutting this off, we're going to leave enough to fold over so that the edges look a little bit neater along the inside. To make the inside of the window look neat, I've just cut out pieces of foam and just glued them along the edge. Okay, now that we have our two pieces completely covered in foam, I'm going to glue them onto the base of the bus. I added a piece of black foam along the edge and then I'm going to glue my doors on, making sure to glue all around the side of the front of the bus and the back of the bus. Now that I have my sides on, I'm just going to cut this edge so it's more curved. Take a piece of black foam and then glue it around the front of the bus. Also glue a piece of black along the back. Glue together two pieces of foam. Cut out some pieces that are kind of like the letter C, where the top is the same size as your bottle cap. Cut out four of those. Glue them onto your bus, level with the bottom. To add our wheels to the bottom, I've cut a straw in half, which I am going to glue onto the bottom of my bus, right in the center of where the wheel will be. Push your wooden dowel through the straw.
glue a pony bead to the center of your bottle cap and then glue the wooden dowel into the center of the pony bead. Cut off the excess and then do the same to the other side. To make the front of my wheels black, I'm just taking one of the wheels, laying it down on a piece of foam, trace around it, and then cut out four of those. And then I cut out a circle in the center and then you can just glue that on. To make the chairs, cut out a piece of foam as wide as you would like it to be. Take one of your paper clips and unfold it. Glue the paper clip into the center of the chair. Glue onto another piece of foam. When they're dry, just bend them into shape and glue them into the bus. Glue together two pieces of foam and cut them into the shape. Cut off a small piece of straw and glue it into the center of your black bottle cap. Glue the bottom of this foam into the front of the bus. And then you can glue your last seat in. I just kind of curved the edges on this one since it was the bus driver's seat. You can add some extra details, like maybe naming the school on the side. I also added some lights at the front and a little stop sign to the side and some lights at the back. You can also make a door at the back. I chose not to do that to make it a little bit sturdier. And that's it, guys. We have our little LPS school bus. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make this school bus. If you have any questions or need any help, just leave them in the comment box below. And we will see you again very soon with lots more LPS crafts. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.